photonic is the best route toward achieving large-scale fault tolerant machine. And by making the most difficult part in photonic quantum computation deterministic instead of probabilistic, we can improve the efficiency of those machines by about four orders of magnitude. Imagine you could have built a million qubit atomic-based quantum computer by entangling a hundred atoms, putting them on the shelf, then entangling another set of hundred atoms, putting them on the shelf, and so on until you get millions. So, of course, you can't do that with atoms or ions or superconducting qubits. You need the computer to protect the material qubits. With photons, you actually can do that. You can generate dozens of entangled photons and throw them into a fiber. Generate another set of dozens of entangled photons, throw them into a fiber. And the fiber is like very, very long quantum memory. Nothing happens to the photons there. They may be lost, but the error correction code can correct for that. And this shows you why photonic quantum computation is more scalable and needs less resources than material-based quantum computation. But the very blessing of photonic qubits, their non-interacting nature, which makes them so robust and, and scalable, is also in some sense their curse. Uh, quantum computation requires interaction, it requires entanglement. It's a non-linear process. A gate is something non-linear, right? And photons cannot do that. The, the way current approaches work is by multiple attempts. The problem with this approach is that it's highly probabilistic. And this creates a huge overhead that today is the biggest obstacle uh, on the path of photonic quantum computation. By making the most difficult part in photonic quantum computation deterministic instead of probabilistic, we can improve the efficiency of those machines by about four orders of magnitude. That translates to a smaller machine, a cheaper machine, an ability to scale up not just to one million qubit system, but to 10 million, 100 million qubit system if and when will be necessary. And more than that, the fact that the entire system works in room temperature further reduces the complexity of the infrastructure needed in order to uh, operate it. And that means that we can really install the system in the standard server room. So if I would need to summarize in one word or a phrase what quantum source is all about, we are bringing quantum computing to light.